for the Gulf countries, uh, this rapprochement with Israel, uh, uh, sadly, does not, uh, you know, is not about the Palestinian cause or the Palestinian plight. It does completely overstep that. Uh, but it is about their very serious concerns about Iran and their feeling that the United States cannot and will not be able to do much more than the limited things it does so far. And they're looking for ways that with Israel, maybe they could uh, put up some, some bigger deterrent. We know well, one of the reasons behind the delay in uh, reviving the JCPOA or return to the JCPOA is something that was a campaign promise of President Biden. It's now over a year of his administration, and that hasn't happened. One of the reasons behind the delay was because the Biden administration wanted to sort of gain the support of the GCC countries and of their Israeli, uh, essentially Israel, and their, their main allies or partners in their region. And it just doesn't seem like that has been very successful from this summit. Definitely on Iran, you know, memorandums of understanding on defense were signed between Israel and Bahrain, Israel and Morocco, very unprecedented. Uh, you know, there are military drills, military exercises, joint that are being held. Uh, Israel was added to U.S. CENTCOM's area right. of responsibility several months ago, and that also helps enhance military strategic cooperation. And, you know, the day is not far where we'll see also cooperation on missile defense and defense against drones. So definitely, okay. while deprioritizing the Palestinian issue, they do find a lot in common and they do find a lot to cooperate on as they're concerned about the same things.